You might be thinking, what the heck am I doing in these videos? But what I'm doing is practicing my transfers <laughs> and showing them off. <laughs> Basically, I've been doing this for a while. So I wanted to show you without a transfer board and I will explain, you know, a little bit here so that uh, you can watch the videos as I explain. Without a, without a board, without a transfer board, and to get over to the bed or chair or sofa, you really want to, you know, move the arm, whichever arm on the wheelchair you want to transfer from. Put a hand where you are and then a hand on where you're going. Let me repeat that. A hand where you are and then a hand where you're going. You want to lean forward a little bit and then you want to raise your butt <laughs> and then swing over. <laughs> That's like the best thing. Um, some people might not be able to do that uh, due to strength or you know, other issues. So it's just you know a hand where you are, a hand where you're going and look down a little bit and raise that butt in the moment you're transferring over. And that, that helps a lot to swing over. Um, the next video, I'm using a transfer board, which uh, all of you are probably familiar with. If you're not, you know, you want to think of, of purchasing one or having one in your possession at all times. Uh, because if you lose strength or you're sick or ill, you know, this might be the help you need. Uh, the transfer board, I use it, you know, because <laughs> I need to get into the spot. I need to be in, in the bed. So, and so I just slide in, and it's much easier. Uh, sometimes I don't have much muscle strength, so I use the board. Uh, mine is very slick. It's made out of wood. And uh, you can also put a pillowcase on it, you know, to help it slide better. Uh, I don't need that in my case, but... You know, it's a long board, so to me, more board means more, more protection for me. So I just make sure that there's enough board on one side and enough board on the other, that the board's not going to tip over or slide off. And then I just, you know, sit on it, and s I put one piece of the board underneath my butt. <laughs> I make sure that I'm not pinching anything. And then I slide over, um, you know, one hand on the other side where I want to go, and I pull myself over, and it's easy. I don't uh, exert myself as much, so it's, it's very helpful. Um, know that it, the board, to me, is really important for any wheelchair user to have it, just in case, you know, something happens or you get sick or whatever the issue uh, the boards are, are very helpful. So take a look on Amazon, or you know you might go through your primary care doctor or through a physical therapist, and they can order a board for you. Uh, sometimes I don't cover it, depending on the insurance, but they're not that expensive on Amazon either. So you want to look for, for me, I just looked for a long, a long board. I needed that safety. So and there's others that are curved, so you might want that kind, I don't know. So there's all different kinds of styles of boards. So take a look and uh, purchase one. Uh, you know, your therapist might recommend one for you, so it just depends. So I just wanted to go over that so you could just watch it. Uh, you can listen to it, you know, uh, if you need to review. You know, always one hand where you are, and one hand where you're going, no matter whether you're using the board or whether you're transferring with your arms. So just for safety. If you're practicing at home, after a little training, you want to have somebody in the room watching just in case. <laughs> so, uh, and, and then once you feel comfortable with it, then you can do it on your own. Uh, I had a lot of people watching me when I did it on the beginning. <laughs> so. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, I have the strength to do it without the board, uh, but I feel more comfortable with the board because there's a certain spot in the bed that I need to get to. So anyway, any questions, any comments, any experiences that you have, uh, please feel free to post them down below. 
uh, and I will put that. Um, there is a different way of transferring. If you can't do it manually with the board or with your arms, then there's an, a sling type uh, mechanism that's used for, for those people uh, that need that help. And it's already in their wheelchair and then it's folded up and hooked onto the mechanism and they are raised up and put over on the bed. So I will uh, put some pictures in there. Um, but for those people, they already have their sling, they already have that in their bedroom. Um, so you will already have that uh, there at your home. So I don't have to demonstrate that and I don't have one here. So. <laughs> So we can forget that piece. <laughs> All right. So watch the videos. Always one hand where you are and one hand where you're going. The first one is without a transfer board, and the other one is with the transfer board. Now, which is easier? For me, is with the board, and then I just have to get rid of the board <laughs> so I can lie down. <laughs> so, um, so I think with the transfer board is a little bit easier for me, and I just have to make sure that it's in a good position. So. Um, Lately, I've have been having trouble, you know, I've been doing it without the transfer board, but I've been getting in an odd position in the bed, and then I can't scoot myself further up. So if I do it with the bed, then I get to the spot I need to get to. Um, uh, let's see. So I just wanted to show that because I think it's important, uh, especially for the new um, wheelchair users, if, if they still have, you know, they have dexterity with their hands and their arms, then they can do those transfers. Otherwise, they would have to have a caregiver assist with the, um, you know, to pick them up with, with a, uh, has a special name. It'll come to me <laughs> probably later. <laughs> I'll put the picture here. <laughs> and then they can transfer them into the bed if they're not strong enough, and sometimes that happens. So when you're doing it with your hands and your arms, you wanna put one hand where you are and another hand where you're going and really pick up that butt a little bit, <laughs> kind of like looking down and then raising your butt up sufficient and, and transferring over and swinging over. So I just wanted to say that and then same thing going back and then the the advantage of the board is that you know you just slide you don't have to do as much physical um, exertion as what you would do if you're using your hands your arms to swing over so 
So think about using the board. No embarrassment there. Um, I, I've just been using it just to get into that, that spot there that I need to. And then I have to have the wheelchair over on the other side of the bed so I can plug it in. Somehow, I just bring the cord over and then I plug it in. So, and it's a good thing for the bed to be there, for the wheelchair to be there in case there's an emergency. So I just make sure that the bed is, is further down the bed so it's out of the way if I need to get out and go to the bathroom, et cetera, et cetera, or race out of here. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just practicing all those little things uh, is, is important to me. I really haven't, you know, done a whole lot other than, you know, making sure I, I use the board so I don't wear myself out and, and I get to the correct spot in the bed and, and, you know, I raise it up before I get into the bed and then I know exactly where the line is, where my butt needs <laughs> to be. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's, it's just those little things that are important to practice and it's the same method to a chair or to a couch. Um, you know, and you have to see what kind of board you want. I have a pretty long one, so, and it's, it's very smooth, so I just, you know, make sure that I have enough parts of the board on one side and the other. Um, and I just do it slowly. This is not a race. So when you're transferring, you want to do it slowly. You want to think what you're doing and make sure you have one hand where you are and one hand where you're going. So um, because otherwise you could, you know, get stuck on one side or the other. So make sure that, you know, on, on the board, same thing. You want to push where you are and pull where you're going. So, um, and, you know, just practice a little bit. If, if you're weak, you know, it's good to practice with somebody there so that you know, gradually you can get to that spot where you're like, yes, I mastered it. <laughs> but usually when you get home, you've already mastered it because they teach this in uh, rehab. But if you are somebody new to wheelchair world and uh, you just bought the wheelchair all on your own and here you are, you know, with health issues going up and down, it might be good to schedule, you know, uh, a therapist to come to your house to show you or for you to go to therapy and have them show you a few tricks with the wheelchair and a few tricks with transferring uh, and you can tell them you know one of my goals is to be able to practice transferring and making sure I do them correctly and then they might say to you well we also want to teach you what to do if you are on the floor you know that's an important thing to do especially like a person with myself, I have balance <laughs> issues and I have other issues going on. So sometimes, you know, the floor and I just have a little chat once in a while. <laughs> so they always want to make sure when I go into therapy, the last thing we practice is, you know, if I'm on the floor, how to get up. So at least sitting up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, and as long as I'm conscious, I can do it. <laughs> so, uh, so those things are important to know. Uh, again, if you just purchase a wheelchair and you know nobody's trained you, it might be good to just touch base with a therapist, a physical therapist, and have them teach you a few tricks so that you really hone in on you know skills for for the wheelchair. All right. Well, I hope this video is is it's a little different uh, for Wednesday. Usually, I just do reflections. Uh, but I'm out this week. I'm on retreat, so I just want to make sure that there was a video that would be interesting for you, and you could watch it a couple of times and, and try to, you know, with someone there, make sure that you practice those transfers. If you are new to having a wheelchair or have them uh, schedule, have, you know, schedule with a physical therapist and have them teach you you know, in person, whether they come to your house or you go to them, and make sure that you know how to transfer uh, if you need to and uh, how to get up if you fall on the floor, what to do. There's a couple of different tricks, so 
what to do if you fall on the floor, which I'm famous for. So, <laughs> so it's just one of my gifts, what can I say? Um, so anything else y you would like to ask, uh, feel free. Again, I'm not a physical therapist. I am a wheelchair user. So uh, it's important to, to get those tasks well done. If it's, if it's not seen you know, clearly, just ask me how I did it and I will explain it. Well, I'll explain it at the beginning. Uh, this is kind of the end of the video, so, <laughs> so I'm having to put the pieces in, in order. Anyway, I'm glad you came. You spent a few minutes with me watching me transfer from the wheelchair to my bed and, and back. <laughs> so, and I didn't fall. How about that? <laughs> so <laughs> uh, thank you for coming, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.